start off my StarCraft test. I'm going to be using this unit editor that um, someone's been making, which you can find on the StarCraft Mapster. SCMapster.com, I believe. I don't take any credit for this nice interface and the, this editor. I'm just uh, using it. I'm going to be showing some Terran Micro Basics and this really is for myself so that I don't forget um, yes, everything because I don't want to forget everything by the time the game comes out. Now the Reaper is going to be what I start off with because it's the harass unit and it's really going to show I'm going to be able to show you how powerful clicking around madly really is. Now it's not just pointless to click around like that if there's a purpose. Now the Reaper only has 50 HP and no armor and without the jump pack upgrade he's pretty he's kind of slow because with the jump pack upgrade I believe the speed almost doubles. Um, Terran has a lot of start off units. Um, the Reaper you have to tech up to just a little bit. Same thing with the Marauder, but against light units, which are what you'll face early in the game, the Reaper is the harass unit of choice for me. Certainly. Especially if I'm going for their economy. Even in the late game, I go for economy with Reapers. I mean, for sure. Agreed. Especially structures. But um, I'm going to fire off another clip and demonstrate how strong the Reaper is even though he's really puny. Alright, so gonna be two Zealots versus one Reaper. No upgrades or any special buffs, of course. Same for the Protoss. I'm going, I'm going. Certainly. All right. Notice how I'm creating a path with each Fair click. Enough. I'm not just clicking in the one direction I want them to go. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, indeed. Certainly. Now, in the I'm going, I'm real going. StarCraft world, You'll have terrain and obstacles and things you can use. Um, I'm going to show that in the next clip. But in the middle of the map, if you catch some zealots out there, this is pretty much how you can deal with them. If you're going to get someone who knows that they will lose, because zealots just can't catch a reaper unless they have charge. And early in the game, they're not going to have charge. Um, you can chase him down. He'll probably be the zealots will probably be dead before they make it into the base. But this will help you find them off if they get into your base early. Because if they go straight for your workers, they're going to try to attack your workers. So you can do a quick surround and have your Reaper finish them off. But if they don't go for your workers and they try to chase down their your Reaper, then they still lose. As long as you don't miss micro like I have done right here. My Reaper's taking a few hits, but he's holding in there. Now I'm doing movement clicks and hitting the A button when I want to attack and then clicking. Use your keyboard hand and they're easy to deal with. Boom. Okay, the unit tester has different scenarios, so I'm going to go to the ramp. Um, two zealots again. One Reaper. This also has a resource counter or display for each army. No upgrades, nothing special. Same thing with the Zealots. This is what you might run into on the maps. So use your micro. I'm going to do a vision so that you can see that I can't see the top of the ramp. So we're going to tell all the units to attack each other. And hop down. You can't get hit. Hop back up. They'll never catch you because you can hop up on the ramps or on the cliff. 
and see down, you'll have vision. And that's pretty easy when you have it like this. Just click around, movement. Yeah, my Google Talk went off. Huh. Alright, so, I don't know what happens when you have one Reaper versus two Zerglings, so. I'm gonna do four Zergling versus one Reaper and a Marine. Now, it might seem fair, seeing as how they have range, but we'll see what happens. And the Zerg comes out on top. With two Zerglings. Let's do that again. Select the most mobile unit and micro it around the weaker unit. Same principles, attack, move, attack, move. You don't want the Zerglings to surround you. And you come out on top. Okay, so... This time... Two Zealots... Against... A single Hellion. Using micro, they'll survive, or he'll survive, but without it, easily taken down. They barely took any damage at all. But we know about Hellions, they're more mobile, they're faster than Zealots. No. Same, same thing, attack move, attack move. You want to practice this, because you save yourself a lot of units. I mean, a Hellion is 100 minerals, and he's going up against a 200 mineral mini army. The Hellion himself is a one man army. Check it out. Now, the flame does splash damage, so that's another mechanic that you want to consider when you're using your, or learning about your units. So, look at that. He comes out just fine. Alright, so I'm going to show a small battle between Protoss and Terran. Both army has four units. Uh, the Protoss has a slight advantage with 25 more minerals spent, but I don't think that's an advantage at all. Notice how I pull my Hellions away so they're not immediately attacked. Marauders have armor, so you want to move your Hellions around to where their splash damage does the maximum amount of damage possible to more than one unit. Now when the Marauders go down, because they're not, they're not mobile enough to micro, not right now anyway, I'll show that later. So yeah, Hellions, they, they come out on top. Now. You need to learn your army, because uh, no matter what race you are, the same principles apply. You have to know every advantage and disadvantage. I know Reapers move faster than Zealots, um, Hellions move faster than Zealots, small things like that. Learning to manage your army pays off, because as you can see, the Prozos just dominated. finish off the tutorial, I'm going to show a micro army attacking another micro army by knowing what your opponent is going to come at you with you'll have an advantage plus if you diversify your army you'll have almost have an advantage every game notice how the Protoss had all ground units well those two mutas took out the stalker first which was the threat and can just go to town on the other units but yeah that's it thanks for watching